Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Cinch 2 Emulator Setup Guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content that I release on my channel almost every day on my channel, just Jamie. It also helps out my channel too. So I run a community post the other day and I ask which system or front end you want me to cover next and of course Retrobat won that vote. So we're looking at Cinch 2 emulator today and Cinch 2 recently came out with Retrobat 6.2 I believe. Very easy setup guys so I've got some games just here for it. What I'm going to do first of all is just start at Stratony. So first game I've got just here is Crime Patrol. If I open up this archive what I need to do is just drag out the contents of that. So here's one of the games and what I'm going to do with this in order for Retrobat to read it, if I just right click on the file without actually going into it and doing anything else, I'm going to go to show more options, rename and I'm going to just go to the end of where it says HD and if I just type in dot cinch. So that's my first game done and everything's extracted, if I go into the folder this should be the layout of the game itself. So we've got several folders here. I'm going to go for the next one. So we've got Crime Patrol 2. Again, what I'm going to do is just open this archive and just extract the folder. So I've got several games here. And we're going to test each one of these. So again, with your games, what we're going to do is just rename each one of the folders with .singe on the end. And that's how... The extension should be so you're not actually going to go into the folder and rename anything else it literally needs to be the main folder which you're renaming so if i just delete both of these which i've already done now randomly as i was looking for games for singe 2 i came across friday the 13th and i've had a brief look at this one and it's based on the very old friday the 13th films now of course this is laser disc games and so probably around the same era as the really early Friday the 13th film. So some fun to be had if you're into that type of thing. And finally we got Dragon's Lair TV show. So I understand Dragon's Lair is very popular. Okay, so we finally just extracted Dragon's Lair. And like I was saying, we are not going to touch the folder name. So it's long and annoying as these are for example we got dragons underscore lair underscore tv show uh if you alter these or edit the names themselves if you think you're going to scrape artwork they're not going to work if you edit them so they need to be exactly as you download them okay so what we're going to do next then is go to the retro back shortcut just right click on it open file location and we're going to go to the roms folder and within ROMs, we're going to find Daphne folder. So, yeah, this is for the Cinch emulator, but everything for this is going to go in the Daphne folder. Now, because the Daphne folder is used for a few different systems, Laserdisc based systems, what I'm going to do is create a new folder in this one. And I'm going to just put everything into this folder. So, I'm going to call this folder Cinch. And if I drag and drop my games inside of that folder. And what we're going to do now is open up Retrobat. And here's our games. Uh, it's going to be very hard to get artwork for your games. If we use Scraper, for example, by pressing Main Menu and just going down to Scraper, uh, you can try any of your Scraper settings. You're unlikely going to scrape, automatically scrape artwork for these games. So what I recommend doing is manually downloading the artwork and just renaming the artwork files, which is going to correspond with the game files themselves. So anyways, what we need to do then is actually set up the Singe 2 emulator to work with these games. So 
If I press select button on my Xbox controller, this is going to open view options. If I go to advanced system options, emulator, if you've not used this before, it's going to be on auto. We're not going to be using the next option down, which is what auto does. Like I say, we're going to be using Singe 2 for this. So what I'm going to do is just open up one of the games with the Singe 2 emulator. Uh, if I go for Friday the 13th. And the first thing you're going to see is the emulator Singe 2 is not installed. Install now. So I'm going to press yes. And here we go. So the emulator is booting up. And as you can see, we've got a nice fancy picture of a laser disc. And right now, I'm using an Xbox controller to control this. I've just pressed the equivalent of the start button, which is actually the three horizontal buttons, which I call the start button. And everything's working fine. I've not configured anything. If I just go for medium, and I'm pressing the A button to select this. So uh, we've got Friday the 13th, Beautiful Friday the 13th mother. part two. So actually, it's the first four Friday the 13th die, films, Jesus. which is the old school slasher affair. <laughs> So if I go for Friday the 13th part 2. Paul, there's someone in this room. Answer me! Answer me! And Jason keeps killing me, so I'm not very good at these laser disc uh, games, so I'm going to leave that one just there. And we also got Dragon's Lair TV show, so I'm not entirely sure what this one's about. So you've got to be incredibly quick with these uh, American laser disc games. My reflexes are too slow. It's probably because I'm so old. Uh, we also got Crime Patrol HD, which is of course a light gun game. So if I open up this one, I'm actually using my mouse for this right now to control the target. So I was just actually using my mouse for that game and that's a uh, classic quality acting from the 80s. So let's look at view options. If I press select button on my controller, advanced system options, uh, we can play around with auto configure controllers. Now I suggest keeping this one onto auto. In my case it's worked fine and my Series S or Series X controller is picked up automatically by Singe 2. If we go down to guns, we can actually go to force index and you've got several options there. 
We also got the ability here to actually shoot a crosshair, which I highly recommend putting on, otherwise that could get pretty confusing. We got edit pad to key profile. If we go on this one, if there's any games that might require a keyboard stroke, then you can actually map out your controller to do this. For example, if I go to D-pad up and select this one, it's going to bring up a keyboard. So what we can actually do is use this virtual keyboard. For example, if the key requires the stroke of P, we can actually map this one out to the button A. If I just press A, and there we go. So if you've got any games at all which require a keyboard, that's the way to do it. So you don't have to keep using your keyboards. And obviously save changes once you've done all that. Now if we go to video and force full screen, we can try putting these on full screen. If I press yes and go into say Crime Patrol 2. Are you looking for me? Vamos, come a little closer. I am Lopez. Lopez. And if you're a younger viewer watching this, this was the times and this was groundbreaking technology at the time. It's not aged too well nowadays, admittedly. The director says, take some target practice. Okay, so something else we can do, if we press select button, advanced system options, if I go to shader set, if I put Sindon border on, and open up one of the games again, Friday the 13th. And as you can see by applying that, we've now got a border. It looks a little bit better than just being blank. Okay, so that's it for today's setup, guys. So before I go, what I'm going to do is just show you where I've got those games from. So this is kangaroopunch.com, and you can download the games from this website. They're free games. And it's also going to remind us just here that Frameworks is Karis Game Framework version 3.32a. As it says, if you don't see any visuals on your games, install this framework and then do this setup guide again. So if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also be sure to check out my entire retro bat playlist. It's quite surprising how many people don't look at that playlist. I've covered around 140 individual setup guides for retro bat at this point. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.